Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Bramick, and it's Friday, July 3rd. And this is Deaconess Intern Elizabeth. And we're here for your morning devotions. We're going to be doing the morning devotion, which is found in your hymnal on page 295. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise. And with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips. And my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And Elizabeth is going to introduce the hymn for us this morning. All right, this morning we're going to sing hymn 709, The King of Love, My Shepherd Is. And we'll just sing the first verse this morning. The King of Love, my shepherd is, whose goodness faileth today comes to us from the book of Acts, chapter 11, verse 1, and following. Now the apostles and the brothers who went throughout Judea heard that the Gentiles also had received the word of God. So when Peter went up to Jerusalem, the circumcision party criticized him, saying, You went to uncircumcised men and ate with them. But Peter began to explain it to them in order. I was in the city of Java praying, and in a trance I saw a vision. Something like a great sheet descending, being let down from heaven. By its four corners, and it came down to me. Looking at it closely, I observed animals and beasts of prey and reptiles and birds of the air. And I heard a voice saying to me, Rise, Peter, kill and eat. But I said, By no means, Lord, for, I, for nothing common or unclean has ever entered my mouth. But the voice answered a second time from heaven, What God has made clean, do not call common. This happened three times, and all was drawn up again into heaven. And behold, at that very moment, three men arrived from the house in which we were, sent to me from Caesarea. And the Spirit told me to go with them, making no discretion. These six brothers also accompanied me, and we entered the man's house. And he told us how he had seen the angel stand in his house and say, Send to Joppa and bring Simon, who is called Peter. He will declare to you a message by which you will be saved, you and all your, all your household. As I began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell on them, just as, for, uh, as on us at the beginning. And I remember the word of the Lord, how he said, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. If then God gave the same gift to them as he gave to us when we believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I that I could stand in God's way? When they heard these things, they fell silent, and they glorified God, saying, Then to the Gentiles also... God has granted repentance that leads to life. So, interesting verse today. Peter gets in hot water because he has fellowshiped with the Gentiles. It was forbidden for Jews to have uh, contact with the Gentiles, let alone to eat with them, because that was a sign of fellowship and acceptance. Uh, and so, uh, Peter gets in trouble today, but he explains the vision that he saw that uh, was from the Holy Spirit to go and to preach the gospel to the Gentiles. And because the Gentiles receive the Holy Spirit, that then becomes the sign that God has given his favor. Uh, and, and, and truly, uh, the, the words of the Great Commission, I think, are realized first um, here in Acts chapter 11. Uh, you know, they were told to go and baptize all nations, which in, in, in Hebrew was, uh, was all ethne. That's the Hebrew word for nations, which is where we get the word ethnic from. Uh, but they still, I don't think, truly understood or maybe even accepted it. But now today, with the reception of the Holy Spirit among the Gentiles, uh, among Roman soldiers no less, um, the disciples and Peter now realize that the gospel has gone out to all people. So, we continue now in your hymnal with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, merciful Father, who created and completed all things, on this day, when the work of our calling begins anew, we implore you to create its beginning, direct its continuance, and bless its end, that our doings may be preserved from sin, our life sanctified, and our work this day be well pleasing to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. I thank, thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. All right. Well, Elizabeth, what announcements do you have for us this morning? All right. Well, since tomorrow is the 4th of July, we will not be meeting for Women's Coffee Hour, so stay safe and enjoy the holiday. And Sunday, we will continue to have uh, Sunday school at 9.30. We'll have the little ones at, through Zoom and in person. So just note that time change. That's 9.30. And on Wednesday, I sent out uh, an email announcement about... Uh, uh, Elizabeth's installation and commissioning, not this Sunday, but the following Sunday. If you would like to help with any of the preparations, with food perhaps, uh, you can get a hold of Sally Cook, and her information, her email address, was enclosed in the email newsletter. So if you're still not getting that, remember check your spam, check your promotion folders, and if it's still a problem, then send me an email um, at uh, pb316 at sbcglobal.net, and we'll find out what's happening. So, the Lord bless the rest of your day. We look forward to seeing you again tomorrow.